obviously we uh, lost three guys, two to the SEC and, and one to the ACC. And, um, you know, if they feel like those are better opportunities for their families, I'm all for it. I wouldn't be in this position today if I wouldn't have had great leaders and, and great mentors and head coaches that helped me along the way. So I think that's my job as a head coach is to continue to develop them and, and help them grow uh, whichever direction they want to go. At the end of the day, you, you would love continuity and you're in and you're out. Um, you look across the country, uh, there's very few staffs uh, that, that don't lose one or two or a couple a year. Um, you just look at it's just how, it's how it works in this profession. Well, Seth is, is adamant as he builds his coaching staff, which I think is very smart in getting people who fit uh, his culture and fit his beliefs. He's done a really good job of getting guys who understand our system, understand how we're going to play. Um, just like recruiting, every every hire you try to uh, make sure it's an upgrade and um, go out and continue. And it's a continuous cycle. So you got to stay down so that this hand is it's going to be down here. It ain't going to be up here. All right, keep your butts down. You know the connection was he had worked for two uh, guys that I, I have a lot of respect for, and the biggest thing is just making sure that it's a great fit with Coach Ref, which. Uh, once they got together and talked, there's no doubt in my mind, I feel like uh, we got a great addition to our defensive staff. And I see those linemen's hands going out to touch the next old lineman. Um, you know, it turned out there was a couple links between myself and Coach Refit and Coach uh, Latrell, and uh, things kind of, one thing led right into another, and a week later I was here, on the way down here, and I couldn't be more excited about the fit. I think everybody can see uh, the steps that are being taken in the right direction. So just to be a part of that uh, was extremely attractive. I mean, coaching is teaching, and my whole process is to develop a way to make sure my guys understand the whys and the hows, not just the what to do. I think with Marty, uh, you know, he, he may be young and a little younger in age, but he does not lack the experience. The biggest thing is once you get down, sit in clinic with him, talk ball with him, he's very sharp, he's very knowledgeable. Um, and again, he'll, uh, he'll be a great fit for us special teams wise, and that's a big part of who we need to be. It's all three phases, offense, defense, special teams. I think a lot of it comes down to Coach Latrell, and then uh, so many coaches talk about the importance of special teams, but then don't give you that allotment of time, whether it's meeting time or practice time. And it was something I felt very comfortable with in regards to him uh, truly expressing and then being able to back that up, talking about how much uh, special teams is important to him. Good, 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 good. Chuck's a guy that I've known for a long time. You know, he's. He's been a head football coach. He has a lot of experience, uh, not only as a head football coach, an offensive coordinator. Uh, with him being a coordinator, um, you know, he has, a, he has a lot of knowledge and he, he brings a lot to our program. You know, the biggest thing that appealed to me was obviously Coach Luttrell. I uh, had a prior relationship with Seth and uh, we go back a lot of years. And I think Brad laid a great foundation. It's a great room, a great group of young men. Got to still continue our technique and fundamentals. Uh, we got to continue to develop a, a mentality of toughness. Uh, I call it lunch pail hard hat. I grew up the son of a construction worker. So, you know, every day my dad left, he had a hard hat lunch pail. You know, he was up early and he, he's out working people. So I think that's the key to offensive line is developing a mentality in the room, you know, that we're going to outwork people. We're going to out tough people. Mark is a man that uh, I played against. He was uh, the D-line coach at East Carolina. My first year at North Carolina, we played against them. Um, and he, he's a really good fit in the system. I think up front that uh, Coach Yellick has done a great job of getting the kids to understand exactly what's expected of them and how they're expected to do it. He's been in a scheme similar to this, um, so he has a really good understanding. That's one of the reasons why we hired him during the interview process was just his background in an odd front scheme with the movements and the pressures. Did a great job of getting that communicated to the kids and got them playing at a pretty high level every day. The one luxury he also has is that that's probably the only position on defense where there's competition. And, you know, there's six guys there that can roll in and out. So if you're not doing your job, there's going to be another guy behind you that can come take it from you. He's a great teacher. Uh, he, he'll be an unbelievable mentor for that D-line group. You know, you had a culture of, a, of the initial staff that Coach put together last year. Well, he lost four coaches. He brought four new guys in. You know, we'll find out how things work during the season. But right now, you can just see a seamless transition because I'm sure he hired the four of us new coaches the same way he hired the initial nine with the whole mindset of a great fit and, and does everybody gel.
my opinion, spring is designed for skill development. And that, that's number one. You know, your off season is designed for strength and for speed development and team bonding. You get in the spring and now, how can I perfect the techniques that are needed in order to be successful when we get to the fall? But a lot of it comes down to getting guys reps and making sure that uh, we're, we're working a ton on, on just fundamentals, tackling, blocking, uh, hand placement, eye placement, um, and just, again, continue to grow within the system and, and, and get a, get a get a day better. A beautiful day for a spring game. And the offense wearing green, the defense wearing white. And uh, we are just about set to go. A long count this time as safety blitz comes. The throw is complete and then dropped over the middle and they're going to call it a fumble and a recovery. And the recovery followed by a return up to the 40 yard line and finally dropped there. Listen to me. If you see all that pressure coming on your side, make a game call right there. You know, make sure they're coming with you right there. You with me? Yes, sir. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. Yeah, the backer was over there and the outside backer on Derek. I think we call it out. Yeah, you got it? Yes, sir. Out, out call, no what? What I'm saying now, what? Next time we see it, we got to get that done. Yes, sir. You got me? Andrew Tucker in the backfield to Kaysen's left. And Kaysen Chase rolling right, chased by Tillman Johnson, tagged as he floats one out of bounds. So I think Johnson will get credited with a sack back at the 18. Sack being worth two points to the defense. Hey, somebody fight somebody out there. I'm tired of it. Block. Block somebody. One time. Let's go. Hey, pass protection. Third and long, right? They didn't run games right then. Got it? But I'm telling you, be aware of number 18, the jack on the thumbs, right? Communicate. Make sure you stay square. Don't open the gate. Technique, technique. Got it? Let's go. And if we can come out of spring with a better understanding of our scheme, but also perfecting these techniques, this is the time of the year to do that. And if we'll do that, we'll have a chance to carry that momentum into the summer. So when the guys are doing things on their own, they'll know how I want it done, how it fits into the scheme. And this is a time when they can really slowly ask the questions because it's not being force fed. Coach, why are we doing this if I haven't explained that good enough? So there's a better understanding of our scheme, a better understanding of how the techniques fit into that scheme. And now they get, okay, this is how I'm going to become a great player, which enable us to, to win some games and be successful. Spring game was really about fundamentals as much as anything because we weren't going to run our whole defensive package. So what I was looking for was the guys to go out and just basically execute our base defenses, uh, be very fundamentally sound, play hard, and then make the plays that come to you. I stopped. I took that. I knew it coming. I had to make it. I had to make it. Hey, he lucky he grabbed me. I was going to the crib. I was going to the crib. I was going to go like this, BG. <laughs> I'm going like that. From the 41 of the near hash, into the wind, Pearson will be flushed out of the pocket and tagged for a sack. I mean, if you get put in a situation to make a play, we're trying to see those guys that can make plays. So not trying to scheme our offense in any way as much as, you know, let our kids go out there and just play a base fundamental defense and then go out and see who can execute and who can make plays. Shanbor will be sacked this time as Bryce English comes storming through the middle and the sack worth two points for the white. Get the outside guy. Get the outside guy. There's two guys outside of you. How many times I told you? Second one's doing what? Coming under, right? That's what you got beat on right there. Pearson with time throws deep over the middle, caught by Smiley. 20 10, slanting five into the end zone. Touchdown on the final play of the first half. He got it, man. Yeah. You know, when you get to the spring game, you've probably already had about three really, really good, intense physical scrimmages, which I take more out of those than I do the spring game. So as a coach, sometimes you get to the spring game, you just want the kids to go out, fly around, have fun, and get out of it healthy. We report here live, North Texas spring game. Got 15 seconds to go. How do you feel about the game? How do you feel about the game? Uh, I thought I did pretty good. We can always do better. Offense did pretty good today. D-line was great. Coaches were making great calls. I think we executed today. You heard what the man said. We executed. We worked. New Den is here. New Den is here, Tune man. in in the fall. Thank you. All right, overall, a uh, pretty decent day today. All right, we, again, we got to be more consistent as a group. On both sides of the ball, we just got to build that consistency. And a lot of it's going to come to how much work do you put on from here until August. 
All right, it doesn't stop here. Just because spring ball's over, all right, doesn't mean we're either in the weight room getting bigger, stronger, faster, all right, and or running player, uh, player run practices. All right, making sure you're doing the most, uh, make sure we're getting the, the best uh, we can be to towards August. Everybody understand that? Yes, sir. All right, take care of your bodies, all right? Take care of your bodies and take care of each other, all right? Tonight, on the weekends, all of that. Again, coaches next week, we'll, we'll get with you individually. All right, you'll have your player, player exit meetings, all right? And then from there, they're gonna be out recruiting a bunch. All right, so we'll have our one-on-one -on -one meetings, but again, getting with Coach Womack, getting bigger, stronger, faster, and hey, men, holding each other accountable. That's what this is about. We need everybody here next fall to be the best them, all right, in order for us to go compete for championships. We're on the same page. Yes, sir. Quinn, great day. Break them down. Hell yeah, Quinn. Let's go, fellas. Let's go, let's go. Tough on three. One, two, three. Tough.